We first and foremost, we want everyone to our topic today is about how to eat. Not eat for you. So, but first, we are going to talk about what is not eat for you. So, not eat for you is a different uh, of a folding cloth of napkins into various shapes and designs. It only used to enhance people's feelings for special occasions or events. So, basically, a, a, napkin, a napkin folding is used to add a uh, or a ability to the guests that will be dining, dining into our restaurant specifically with a lot of people. So it has an it has an Indian touch to dining situations and can include a wide range of creative um, holes such as the missing classic dishes have a loose form. Different holes can be chosen to suit uh, the theme or ambience for meal or event. So, later on, my book makes well talks about the different types of napkin folding and, demos and the demonstrations as well. Thank you. So, principle of napkin folding. The art of napkin folding follows several principles of creative, elegant, and visually appealing table settings. So, number one, <coughs> simplicity. Keep the folds relatively simple to avoid overwhelming your guests and maintain an elegant look. So, there is a siya number one, simplicity. Pag-ibaw tanya ang mga simple, kaya mga easy, kaya bang, kaya bang apilin sa itong mga customer ba? Nagpaglita, nagpaglita po nila, nagpaglita po po ng fold. Then, simple kayo. Sa mga ito siya, simplicity. So, number two. Coordination. Coordination. That pin falls to the overall theme of your event or meal. So, so number two. So, so number two. Coordinate is you have to. Ah, uh, say on. So, you have to. Kanabang kanabang mag mag magdikuray pa sa tong napkin folds. Ah. Uh, Kanang na napuha sa team sa pagitan kasal ng atong panan. Event po ng kasal. So, ang ato ang ato ang napkin folds kay ipan po natin siya sa itim natin siya sa pagkun sa event. Quality napkins. Start with high quality, clean and well-pressed napkin for better results. So, So, uh, there is a quality of it is kailangan na itong gabi ko niya is ka na hindi siya matela para uh, out, para hindi pagbuhat na tao kung saan sa klase ng napkin is needed ang outcomes. And number four is perception. Take your time to ensure precise and neat folds or a polished appearance. So, so the, there is a perception is kailangan na ito ay Uh, eh, uh, ang pagbuhat sa napkin is with details para it, it, inigma, ma, ang outcomes niya ay para ang inigmahuman ang outcomes is nindot. So, number five is consistency. So, fold all napkins in the same side and size for any form of table setting. So, dapat ang consistent is ang um, walay mausap or relation Dili ka magtibuka ng mga different shapes nga um, table napkins or napkin folding sa nga itong ikutak sa table para mas nito siya tanawon o mas presentable siya tanawon sa mga guests. And then next is the complementarity. So, complementarity, um, consider how the folded napkins will complement the tableware, center pieces, and overall decor. So, ang complementarity in a uh, napkin folding is um, refers to the pairing of different folding techniques or styles to create a visually appealing and harmonious overall design. So, by uh, combining um, contrasting folds, uh, shapes, or patterns, one can enhance the aesthetic ap appeal of a folded napkin, um, it, making it more um, intricate and interesting. And then this concept allows for creative expression and customization in table setting. So next is practice. So practice the folds in advance to perfect your technique before the event. So dapat um, ibuda ang practice ang mga ang mga um, ang imuhang ipold or ang imuhang mo na um, napkin folded before.
before sa event para mas um, to assure na ang imuhang uh, gihimo is kanang perfect. And then next is functionality. Uh, ensure that the folded napkin still serve its practical purpose as a tool for cleaning or protecting clothing. So ang functionality, ato kung i-consider ang iyang uh, function or sa purpose ato ang gihimo kung uh, magamit pa siya for like for example sa kanang mga sa katong envelope na pin folding so naay pa uh, ang iyang ang gamit is uh, pwede na to siya putangan ng mga um, cars or yung uh, cars uh, ever uh, sa kanang mga effect ang ato ang um, um, i-apilan So we have different types of napkin folding style. So first is the lotus napkin fold. So also called the water lily or the Arctic chalk, the lotus napkin fold is a particularly popular fold choice for a dinner party. So uh, uh, the lotus napkin fold is often used for decorative purposes in table settings, particularly for special occasions like weddings, parties or formal dinners. It adds an elegant touch to the dining experience and serves as a visuality appealing center face. So this fold can be a conversation starter and enhances the overall aesthetic of the table decor. And then the second is tripod packet fold. So this fold creates the three pretty little packet where you'll be able to tap in not where of place cards for flower or even or even a little bit more for guests if you like. So uh, the tripod packet fold is a napkin folding technique that creates three distinct packets providing a stylish and functional presentation. So we start with a square napkin, fold in fold it into thirds and then fold the side to create the packets. This fold is commonly used to hold utensils, menu cards, or other small items, adding a neat and organized touch to the people's So, so for the motivation of the napkin folding style, so third is the envelope napkin fold. So the envelope napkin fold is a simple and elegant addition uh, simple and elegant. So in addition, it allows you to personalize your family meal by including a wedding card, you know, or a place card with a napkin folded, folded napkin. So from the word envelope, it is the number of naka-form siya o envelope. So, katong uh, kato siya is pwede siya ibutan ito ang kana mino or kana mga greetings card sa sa event So, so ay envelope napkin fold, folding is kanina rin siya tas si triangle pag po at pag po nanin siya tas Tapos yun ni sa center. Then tapos na po di fold na po sa center. Then fold pa taas. Then nandiyan siya. Then yun yari yung tang ang katong minor na greeting card. Greeting card. Next is the rose bud napkin fold. So the rose bud is a uh, simple yet elegant napkin. So it works well standing up or laying down on a place thing and provides provides down on a place thing and provides a sophisticated dining experience. So, ang rose bud kay inani mo siya. Nani lang dyan po ang tas i-tryang gil
karya eksperimen ke atas. Ini dari Yusha. Pyramid napkin fold. So a pyramid fold is a simple and elegant napkin folding technique that results in a three-dimensional pyramid shape. So first, lay the napkin face down into the front of you. Then second, fold the napkin in half diagonally. Third, rotate the napkins so the open end faces away from you. Then fourth, fold the right end to meet the far corner ensuring the edge of this new fold plate into the certain line or show on the end. Five, repeat the last step with the left side holding the left tip on the far corner then creating a diamond shape with a seam running down the center. Then six, turn the napkin over keeping and open facing away from you. Then seven, fold the napkin into half by bringing the farthest point of the diamond of the back of the nearest point. Then eight, turn the napkin in the upper end. This time, keeping open and facing forward from you. Then nine, fold the napkin along the center. Seam to the net. Start the pyramid. If your napkin won't stand really, then you need a little start. So, hindi yung chow. Kanina kasagalan din nagbuhat na folding 
to attract uh, guests na maka-attracting, maka-attracting to siya sa mga sa guests. Next is candle nut info. The candle nut info is a printed and decorative napkin folding technique that makes the appearance of the candle of the candle holder. So, it makes me zoom on. Mali. Gigan sa pagkipuan, gigan sa pagkipuan yung kata candle nut info din. So, nun dyan niya, gigan sa iyang holder antot sa itong candle na dyan. So, ano siya? So, Bishop Hat Napkin Fold. The Bishop Hat Napkin Fold is a decorative and integrate napkin folding technique. The result in shape resembling a Bishop Hat or a Pipe. So, the purpose of Bishop Hat Fold resembles a Bishop Hat or a Bishop Hat or a Pipe. It adds a classic and sophisticated look to the table. It's suitable for formal events and can contribute to an overall polish and refined tables of cakes. So when so when we, when we use the bishop hat, use when we use the bishop hat for when you want to create a traditional and stylish atmosphere. It's versatile and works well for various occasions from formal dinners to religious celebration. Uh, mostly ginagamit ang um, koan, bishop hats sa koan, sa banquets, weddings, at scale dinners to add elegant touch to the table presentation. And number 10, where the paradise snaps in full. Where the paradise snaps in full, these folding styles create a unique and elegant presentation for your table. table. Table settings. Presenting the bird of paradise, the flower which is known for its vibrant and tropical appearance. So the purpose of bird paradise not being sold, the bird paradise fold, bird paradise fold is named for its resemblance to bird with its being spread. This fold is more intricate and visually striking, making it suitable for special occasion where you want to impress your guests with a unique and artistic table presentation. So when we, when we use the bird paradise not in full, they serve the bird paradise food for particularly special events such as weddings, anniversary, or high-end celebration. It has a decorative and memorable element to the table. And that's all. So, good morning once again. So, these are the examples of different types of napkin folding. So, first is lotus napkin fold. So, mga niyang sambo sa lotus napkin fold. So, two is triple packing napkin fold. Third is envelope napkin fold. Ito ang game ang i-alipigyan niya. And fourth is rusla napkin fold. And next is Pyramid na pinto. So, mga amazing mga ayun yung mga sabi ko. So, later, namin makita na video kung saan pa buha sa different types of na pinto. So, next. So good morning everyone. So ngayon ang sample sa napkin folding fold. So ang number 6 is study pa napkin folding. Mostly makita na ito siya sa dinner plate. And ang next is rose napkin folding. Muna ang iyong forma. Ang next is candle napkin fold. So kano siya single. So naman napkin to brown double napkin fold. So mostly makita na siya sa glass. Next is Bishop Hat Napkin Fold. Ang muna yung forma. Then, ang last is Bird of Paradise Napkin Fold. Mas sabi mo siya. Thank you. So, ang muna niya ang natin video sa different types of napkin fold.